Compressors reduce the dynamic range of audio signals. Various types of compressors exist, each applying different forms of compression. With a more extensive library of plug-in compressors, you'll be able to affect your audio signals in different creative ways. Some compressors are better at certain tasks than others. Whether you're looking for a vocal compressor, drum bus compressor, or a master bus compressor, this list has what you're looking for. First up is the FabFilter Pro C2, and we rank this as the best all-around compressor. If you're looking to upgrade from your digital audio workstation stock compressor, the FabFilter Pro C2 is a very versatile option. It provides eight different compression algorithms that include clean, classic, opto, vocal, mastering, bus, punch, and pumping. Each algorithm provides a unique style of compression, so the Pro C2 is kind of like eight compressors in one. FabFilter has included all of the features you could wish for in a digital plug-in compressor. Pro C2 includes a sidechain EQ section with customizable high-pass and low-pass filters, plus an additional freely adjustable filter. There's an audition button that solos the audio triggering the compressor, a mix setting that scales the gain change from 0% to 200%, smooth look ahead up to 20 milliseconds, up to four times oversampling, a custom knee, and loudness level meters. Next up is the Isotope Ozone 9 Dynamics Compressor, and we rank this as the best multiband compressor. Multiband compressors allow you to compress specific frequency ranges independent of one another. They're very similar to dynamic EQs, but there are differences between them. If you want to learn more about the differences, check out the link below. At a mastering level, multiband compressors are extremely useful. They allow you to target specific groups of sounds and compress them as necessary. You can use a multiband compressor as a de-esser to compress just the 6 to 8 kilohertz range of a vocal. This allows you to tame harsh sibilant sounds like S and SH. Pop filters do more to help with plosives than they do sibilants, so getting a dedicated de -esser like the one found in Accusonus ERA bundle is something to consider as well. Perhaps you're mastering a song and the entire track sounds good, but every time the kick hits around 160 hertz, it's too punchy. If you set a band center frequency to 160 hertz and apply peak compression to the transient kick, you'll be able to tuck it into the mix. Or, you could apply expansion to highlight the kick's transients and make it even punchier. Isotope's multiband dynamics plugin allows you to apply multiband compression to the center and sides of your stereo image, independent of one another. It lets you choose from peak detection, envelope detection, and RMS detection mode, which significantly changes how the compressor responds to the input signal. There's also a solo and bypass button for each band. Much like FabFilter's Pro C2, Isotope's Ozone Dynamics plugin puts a great emphasis on the power of digital processing. One of the most exciting features of this compressor is the button that matches effective gain when the plugin is bypassed. This allows you to make well informed mixing and mastering decisions without worrying about loudness bias. This plugin comes as a module within Isotope's Ozone 9 Standard Bundle, or as its own plugin as part of Isotope's Ozone 9 Advanced Bundle. Both of these bundles include an entire suite of mastering tools that are really well worth the investment. Coming in at number 3 is Wave CLA76, and we rank this as the best compressor for pop and EDM vocals. The CLA76 is the first analog model plugin compressor on this list. While Waves doesn't explicitly say this on their website, the plugin is meant to emulate a classic 1176 compressor limiter of the mid 60s. Known for having a speedy attack time, the CLA76 is ideal for peak compression and tracking tight pop and EDM vocals. This compressor has a natural and musical character. Digital compressors tend to perform linear processing in a way that doesn't always feel great. So the nuances and unique forms of compression applied by analog model compressors can be quite desirable. The specific components used in analog compressors and the order in which the components are arranged play a role in how analog compressors sound. For example, the CLA76 comes in both a blue and blacky version, each with their own unique sound. The main differences between the two compressors are different gain stages, time constants, total harmonic distortion, or THD, and noise levels. Many engineers like using the CLA-76 on their drum bus. If you engage all ratio buttons in mode, you recreate what would happen if you were to change the bias of the FET component in the original analog unit. Enabling this mode sounds great when using the CLA-76 to apply parallel compression. Coming in at number 4 is Slate Digital's FG Stress and we rank this as the best compressor for rock and rap vocals. Slate Digital's FG Stress aims to emulate Empirical Lab's EL8 Distressor. The analog counterpart of this plugin is often recommended as the first outboard compressor audio engineers should buy, due to how versatile it is. It changes the character with each ratio, and is capable of mimicking punchy VCA compressors, 
fat tube compressors, and vintage opto units. The aggressive style of compression that FG Stress is capable of providing lends itself very well to rock and rap vocals. FG Stress's sound can be refined using different detection circuits, which further changes the compressor's tone. Additionally, various audio path options allow you to add color and warmth to the compressor's input signal. In moderation, FG Stress can do wonders on bass guitar, and when cranked up, it can slam stacks of guitars together. I think it'll be hard pressed to make the distinction between Slate Digital's FG Stress and the analog unit it's modeled after. This plugin comes as part of Slate Digital's All Access Pass, which includes an entire suite of plugins and production masterclasses for just $14.99 a month. I highly recommend this pass if you like analog modeled plugins. The fact that it includes production masterclasses is kind of just a bonus. Coming in at number five is Brainworks BX Townhouse Compressor, and we've ranked this as the best drum compressor. The studio engineers from London's Townhouse Studios built a unique bus compressor in 1978 using solid state logic or SSL components. The exciting thing about this unit is that it wasn't part of a mixing desk. At the time, external console bus compressors weren't something available for purchase. Brainworks has modeled this Vibe analog compressor and delivered it in the form of a smooth riding plug-in compressor via Plugin Alliance. If you own other SSL style bus compressors, you'll be pleasantly surprised when you hear Brainworks BX Townhouse in action. The sound it provides is reminiscent of a G bus compressor, snappy and shiny. However, the neat thing is that it sounds a bit warmer and punchier than most SSL style bus compressors. I find myself using BX Townhouse generously on instrument and vocal buses, but it's not as often that I use it for mastering purposes. For my clients that are looking for transparent masters, BX Townhouse usually comes across too strong. On the other hand, some clients want me to provide their music with a lick of color. In these situations, I'll absolutely reach for BX Townhouse. Plugin Alliance sells another compressor called the Vertigo VSC2, which provides even more dirt, grit, and warmth than BX Townhouse. It's not quite as snappy and punchy as BX Townhouse, but that may not be what you're looking for. VSC2 is a VCA compressor that mellows out most sounds and provides an unmatched level of rich tonality. At number 6, we have the Waves SSL G Master Bus Compressor, and we've ranked this as the best master bus compressor. It's based on the center compressor of the SL4000G console and aims to recreate the sound of the original unit's IC input and twin VCA gain reduction amplifier design. Punchy, snappy, and bright are how I would describe the SSL G Master Bus Compressor. You can use it to tighten up final mixes while preserving transient material. I typically use this compressor either to apply peak compression without killing transients or to highlight transients by using a slow attack and fast release time. This causes the compressor to clamp down on the tail end of transients briefly and glue masters together. That's it for the list. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe down below for more product roundups and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Blackhost Audio. Dark